We're very emotional beings, aren't we? What we do is governed by how we feel. For that equation of the pedestrian and human driver, where the human driver is no longer there, how will people feel about that? My name is Paul Schmidt. I'm a systems architect at Motional. The goal is to help pedestrians feel comfortable with, with the technology. As the technology scales up and there's more vehicles around, we just owe it to ourselves to, to really understand this and, and get it right. And there's a lot of things that we can do to get it right. You know, we communicate verbally as humans. And so what type of audio signals do vehicles give us today? Well, they make brake sounds. We looked at the engine sound, the, you know, the reducing RPM sound. And physical cues too, you know, you look at how we communicate, you know, with our body language. We looked at ways to make the, the deceleration of the vehicle be more expressive, perhaps decelerate earlier. All these are scenarios that we have in here and we're evaluating them with real pedestrians in, in our community. And we wanted to use virtual reality to provide the participants a more virtual and immersive experience. Now we'll look in this direction and we'll see a white vehicle coming. That vehicle may come to a stop. It may not come to a stop. When you feel comfortable crossing the street, hit that trigger on the controller. This vehicle has expressive sounds. It's generating extra braking noise and also engine sounds, engine RPM reduction sounds. For some people, it gives them a sense, almost at a subconscious level, that this vehicle is coming to a stop. Observing that the car was slowing down sooner was helpful. A lot of this study is to help the pedestrian feel comfortable so that they, their reactions are natural as to what they would actually do and feel in, in the real world. This was a really nice way to do an immersive test while keeping everyone safe.